Welcome everyone to the exercise number 8C, which will cover the purpose of creating reports from your selection or from your project. And I've already opened the exercise 8C. This contains three layers called streets, neighborhood parcels, and other parcels as well. As you can see here, there's already or there are already selected features which have been the result of the exercise number 8b. You will find the video prior this video here. So how to create a report? It's quite easy to click on view, reports and create a report. But first of all, you would like to choose which fields you want to see on your report so uh, we are interested or you would like to create a report out of our selection so what is the lay layer we will use is the neighbor parcels layer and we are interested in the address so we will um, use that to um, take it as a report field we are interested in bedrooms sale price and also bars no bedrooms well we know that they these are three room bedrooms but we are interested in the square feet so living area and bathrooms so um then you have a thing called data set options which will give you an example on if you would like or it would which will you have to decide whether you would like to see all your data, the selected set, or you will define a new definition query. But we have already selected our set, so we will stick with the selected set. Let's go with next. Uh, you don't want to have a grouping level. You can do that. Maybe if you don't have chosen to only use three bedrooms, apartments, so you can group them by the number of bedrooms maybe we will go with next but what is very easy to understand is we would like to have um, a sort sorting in our sale price going this scanning no well let's say yes scanning go with next so the layout is stepped we will go with the landscape portrait Let's say next. We'll also stick with the um, default report. Or well, maybe, oh well, let's go with Helsinki. Say next. And I would like to address a new, um, a new title for that. Three by Monday, these are not apartments, these are houses. Okay, and let's say finish. Now the report is created, and as you can see here, we have the address in a two column way or two row way we have the sale price square feet and the bathrooms and as you can see the yeah the outlook is quite fine to be honest so um the address shouldn't be drawn in this way so the address maybe should be drawn in one row only mode and also the alignment of bathrooms to the number of bathrooms should be adjusted therefore just click on edit and each uh, each field here has first of all a position value and a value like um the size so you have a location and a size value so let's let's go into detail you have a report header we don't adjust that we have a page header and a detail header. We will adjust these both. So first of all, the address should be, of course, on the left side, and the size of that should be 
3 inches. We will stick with the 0 0.21 inches and by choosing that uh, we have now adjusted the address but I think, I don't know, well let's go back to the page header which is view he, uh, shown here and go to address. Well, now the address in the header is 3 inches wide and 0 0.21 inches high. Let's go to the sale price. The location has to be adjusted because the location is now uh, 1.07 inches from the left. Well, the address block is still there. So we have to go with 3 inches and well let's say the size of it is 1 inch. Let's go on. Now we have the square feet. Remember 3 inches, 1 inches for the sale price so we are now at 4 inches. the size once again is one and last but not least we have bathrooms four inches plus one my makes five inches and this is once more a size of one inch so we have adjusted the page header this box this this and this what else shall we do we have to adjust not the page header but the detail block here and therefore go to the first of all to the address field address field location is fine should be on the left hand side but the size has to be adjusted so you have the height value and the width value you can also type in here the height and uh, the width value was three let's go to the sale price location is now three so left on edge and the width should be one Now go to, oh no, it's the price, yeah. Now square feet, 3 plus 1 makes 4, with once more is 1, and number of bathrooms, location is 5, and the width once more 1. So now we, we are here, sale price, sale price, square feet, square feet bathrooms bathrooms everything is fine we can see how does it look like by just calling run report now the report is drawn again but there's one thing still not as that good the alignment so once again sorry for that go on edit select sale price and you will have here alignment on the left adjust that to the right also for square feet adjustment on the right and for the bathrooms adjustment on the right we'll run the report again and now as you can see here um, you have enough space for your address three inches well I think it's a little bit overfitting here um, then you have the sale price correct alignment square feet, correct alignment and so on so very very nice to have a look at so what you can do now you can just save the report output to file you can print it um, as a PDF maybe so let's say print it and um, you know just have to sales maybe in the ArcGIS so what is now done this report is has been or will be printed on a pdf file you can um just stick it on your bureau office or something like that and um yeah i hope you have enjoyed this session it was new to me as well so stick with me for the upcoming sessions here you have the report now um if you like my videos just subscribe to my channel or 
press on one of these adver advertisements which will give me some cents per click um, as a reward. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.